Hey, hey, I'm uh, I'm just taking a break here, getting my camera set up and uh, getting my uh, helmet on straight. I'm about to go for a ride. It'll be about 16 miles. Um, I'm going to be going uh, out into the country. I'm going to be riding some gravel roads. Some of the gravel roads will take me up some steep inclines. Um, and I'm going to go by some beautiful bodies of water that I'm going to video. And I'm going to then take you to a place that most people don't realize is right here in Connecticut, and that's Consumer Reports, their test track, where all the cars that they test um, get run through the paces. And uh, when I get there, I'm going to stop and I'm going to video the Jones Bar, the Priority 600, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my experience with it thus far. I'm going to talk very little about it. And then I'm going to take you for a ride down a gravel road with my Jones bar on, and I'm going to go through all the benefits. And uh, I don't have any negatives at this point, so there's a spoiler alert there. Um, I'm going to go through all the benefits of the Jones bar as far as uh, I see it, my own personal opinion. So uh, get ready for a nice ride. It's a beautiful summer day. It's in the 80s, and it's going to stay there. I'm, I'm wearing jeans. Um, so it's, uh, it's a beautiful day out here and, uh, let's go have some fun. Woohoo! Just checking my map because I've never been on this, uh, gravel road and I think that's it. At least I hope that's it. So we're going to explore this for the first time together. So let's go see what, uh, what lays in, lies in store for us here on this gravel road. This looks a little sketchy to the point where <laughs> I took my camera and loosened it up. Okay, a little word about the Party 600. This is a uh, bike that I think was made for commuting on pavement. <laughs> and you're finding out right now that it also has the ability to traverse dirt and gravel roads. But the Priority 600 right now is getting it done. It's getting dicier and dicier all the time. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a little detour that somebody's cut through the uh, brush here. I think there are people who would really like to bring a mountain bike down here and go uh, whizzing through these puddles, but I'm not a mountain bike guy and I'm not a puddle guy. And I'm introducing my Priority 600 to all that stuff right now. Okay, gotta get my water wings out here. Jeez, oh man. Ah, this is chunky, 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 as Ryan Van Duzer would do. Get my motor going. And I'm now, I don't know, it looks like I'm going down a gravel driveway, but this road, this is a road, it's on the map. I just checked on my uh, Google Maps. And I'm on course going in the right direction. I have a nice smooth road, but it's going uphill. I see this as a typical country road in Connecticut very little traffic rather smooth line in the middle bluebird sky up above green trees on either side of the road this is what makes cycling in Connecticut very very satisfying wanted to get this on film this is the first downhill I've seen in a long time here 
amazing. That's unbelievable. So, I'm going to go over my cockpit and the hand positions of the uh, Jones bar as it's installed on the um, on the Priority 600. So if you've seen my other videos, you knew that the Ortlieb handlebar bag was a requirement. 6.1 liters, uh, very spacious, easy to get to while I'm riding. I can actually, I don't normally do that, but I can actually flip this open and take something out. It's magnetically sealed and it's waterproof. The Jones bag fits in this area right here. And I don't know what the capacity is on the Jones bag, but I know it's tiny. It's for snacks, for a cell phone. It's not going to help me out on a tour and if you're and if you're a commuter this is the way to go as well you could put a lot of your necessaries necessaries wow there's an old-fashioned word you could put all your your items that you need in that in that uh, handlebar bag and then carry your clothes on the rack and a little day bag in the back and and so this was essential and I got it done this freed up this bar area that I didn't put bar tape on for my light my camera and this is a, a standard Garmin this is a standard Garmin uh, Holder. It usually goes off the front of the handlebars on a road bike. I brought it back down so it. Uh, let me stop here at the stop sign. Somebody back at me. I brought it down here so that uh, it's in a perfect position for me to be able to reference it. And then I have my hand positions. This is where I ride mostly because I've got the brakes right here. This is where I ride when I'm on the flat, no cars around, don't need the brakes. This is where I ride if I want to get a good stretch. And I never ride down here. I probably, if I had it to do over again, I probably wouldn't even put bar tape on that because that takes the hands and puts it in a very unnatural position but I guess you could scrunch your, your shoulders up like I'm doing now and I guess you could ride there but I I haven't I don't so here I've ridden here above uh, before the brakes I've ridden on the brakes and down here so there's one two three four five if you want to get weird um, so uh, the Jones bar is installed i like it um, the only thing i think i'm going to change and that's quite a process because i have to take this rack off is it's angled down the maximum amount that jones recommends i want to bring that up just a little bit uh, so i can sit even more upright than i already do so all right let's go down and see the uh consumer reports track coming up the consumer reports test track
Ladies and gentlemen, the Consumer Reports test track. Hey everybody, uh, I've been riding on paved roads for a while now. I'm at the uh, Consumer Reports test center. Nothing to see, they got a big black gate, can't get in, um, but it's, uh, it's their test track. I think a couple miles of, uh, of test track, and uh, so I'm going to uh, go over the Jones bar on my bike in about a, a minute and a half. Um, I've got somebody coming out to talk to me about filming on Consumer Reports property, so I'll be back. This is, uh, this is my Jones bar installation. Looking at it uh, from a different angle, I've got the uh, ESI grips, foam grips on the, uh, on the handlebar. I've got the uh, Ortlieb handlebar pack out on the front. And my cockpit consists of two snack bags. One I keep my, uh, my phone or my camera in. The other I keep my uh, water bottle in. I got my Garmin. The Garmin mount is facing inwards into the uh, area of the loop. And then I've got a camera mount and I've got a light mount which I've taken off. I realized that was getting in, in all of the videos I was taking. So I have a grip here. I have a grip where I ride most of the time on the brakes. And then I have a stretchy grip so I can uh, stretch my back and kind of go arrow. As I said, when I was riding prior, I don't use this because it twists the arm in. Not good. So um, overall, uh, this Jones bar is a win. Now, I don't know if you can see the angle that it's at, but it's down at about 14 degrees. I'm going to bring that angle up at some point so I can sit more upright. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Jones bar is a win, very much of a win. Big improvement over the flat handlebar. Um, I, I actually have a picture that I, I think I may try to get in this video of the flat handlebar laying over here. This is basically where the grips were on the flat handlebar. That was my only position that I could ride in. This moving all, I mean, it's just, it's just like night and day, it's great. So, uh, big thumbs up for the Jones bar. And uh, when I say Jones bar, I mean the Jones loop, H, H loop bar, and it's got a two and a half inch rise. They make another one with a half inch rise. That probably would have worked too, but uh, the two and a half inch rise worked really well for the uh, Ortlieb. And I had to buy a, a, an extension for the Ortlieb right here. That's fine, that's working very solid. Uh, I didn't think it would be, but it is. So uh, overall, it's, uh, it's a win. So uh, I highly encourage uh, anyone who has a Priority 600 who wants to uh, get some more hand positions, go ahead and uh, go ahead and do it. Well, we're leaving Consumer Reports, as, uh, as you can see, and uh, we're on a nice, relatively smooth gravel road. And we're going to be uh, heading on back to the car. We've got a, uh, we've got a, a couple of uh, steep hills to climb up and some steep hills to ride down, but it should be a uh, a beautiful ride through the countryside from this point on. Good. No snakes, no potholes. This is good. This is really good. I talk when I'm riding a lot about passing by forests and the smells of the forest but I thought I'd take this opportunity to get up close and personal to some of the things I ride by. For example, that tree, that's a huge, huge, 
huge, huge trunk on that tree. And maybe you can't tell by looking at it, standing all by itself, but. And then the, the entire floor of this forest is covered with beautiful ferns. And other than a jet flying 30,000 feet over my head, it's just totally quiet out here. So about a mile away from the uh, end of my ride and uh, it's, it's been an eventful one for sure. So um, my main goal was to give you a final verdict on the Jones Bar and I did that. But I also gave you a glimpse at some uh, real sketchy gravel riding and then some real nice gravel riding. And uh, I informed you that Consumer Reports does all the testing for all of their vehicles out here in the countryside of Connecticut. So I'd like to thank you very much for uh, coming along with me on this ride. I appreciate it as always. And uh, this is Dave, the old man on a bike, going home. See ya. <laughs>